How's it going everyone? So today we're going to look at how to set up the TL or TP-Link TLWA850RE access point. Um, I unboxed this a couple days ago and this is a follow-up video to that to uh, set it up and also uh, you'll be seeing another video that comes out after that for a review if you care. Um, so basically these devices almost all work the same way but there are some differences and we'll see what that is. So here we are at uh, at our computer, let me give you, give you a start bar here. Basically, most of these devices require that you join a wi join a wireless network that it um, gives out. So in this case, this particular one should be this this network here. Um, they're going to be a little bit different. Uh, I think they randomly generate that uh, last four digits. I believe that might be your serial. So we're going to go ahead and join that. Now we're uh, joined up. This particular device requires that we just go to tplinkextender.net. So let's um, do that now. Apparently it switches to tplink repeater. For this particular device, it's going to be admin. Whoop. Admin, admin. And we get to this page. So this is just kind of walk you through how to do this. Um, so we'll just hit next. Uh, you'll select your country. For me, that is... United States. We'll hit next. And so what this is going to do is it's going to pull all of your wireless networks in the area. You'll probably pick up a lot of neighbors, other garbage. Uh, and this particular one only does just one uh, band, so it just does 2.4. A lot of them do two. Usually you get the opportunity to either connect one or both, and uh, you can also set them up separately. So here we see, um, this is my test rig that I always use for these <laughs> tutorials. And we'll go ahead and hit next there. And it'll let you basically fill out your network stats. So in this particular instance, it's going to ask us for the password. Here's also down here where you can customize the SSID, right? So if you wanted to this to be like my extender, or something like that. That would basically change from that. If you use copy from main router, it just shows up as the same network, and your devices will switch to whichever one is um, better signal strength for wherever you're at. So I'm going to go with a custom one, and I'm going to hit next. And that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and click finish, and it's going to apply these settings, and it's going to reboot. Okay, so you'll probably see in just a silly stupid error on the screen it's mostly because it's now its own thing so if we refresh this a little bit you'll see my extender you should be able to connect to it and this particular uh, access point it basically just uses the password of your other um, existing network which is kind of weird but I guess suppose that works at least for the initial setup so an interesting note about this particular device as you can see we actually can't connect to um, the device any longer using the net address after we've configured it and accessed it, logged into it. So you can see that we're connected to it, but it still won't let us in. So we have to actually go find the IP address. You can kind of look at your primary router for that. And it should be still admin admin. And so that lets us in here. The interesting part about this is it says it's um, it doesn't have internet, but uh, most certainly does. It's worth noting that this particular page might not actually tell you the whole story. If you actually have internet, it says no internet, you know, might be a similar problem. As you can see, I can get to the internet here, so it's not really an issue. I think it's mostly DNS on my end because I'm using a custom DNS. That's pretty much it, really. If you want to, you can sort of go in after the fact here. You can change your password here, although it just stores it in plain text, which is always really super cool. You'll have to do that after the fact, so initially it just copies the wireless password you already had, but Obviously, you maybe want to uh, customize that later. You can look at your wireless statistics. We have one thing on here right now. As you can see, this would be where you'd actually look and see all of the devices that are connecting through this particular AP. 
and the throughput monitor, so how much actual, what, what's the bitrate of things actually being transmitted and received, obviously you have to start and stop that. So it's just like a little report, not really that useful to, to be honest. Firmware upgrade is here, you can check it if you want, but you have to do it manually, there's no web link for that. And then here you can actually change the admin password, so you might want that. And you can also, you know, update your admin username there. You basically type in your old username, which was of course admin, user or old password which is admin and then you know new thing like uh and your password so that's how you save that it'll reboot again of course and that's about it though it's, it's a pretty simple device stick around on my channel for an update and a review of this product once i've had it had some time to uh mess with it a bit should be pretty good we'll uh, we'll see how it goes this is like the base model device it's not very expensive i believe there may be the 15 20 bucks on new egg or amazon depending on what the sale is so they're not really that expensive they only have one band it has internet access even though it doesn't say it doesn't seem to think it does but uh yeah so if you like this let me know comment section below if you have any questions need some help setting it up i am more than happy to help you out if i can i try i can only do so much i'm just a guy on youtube so I have plenty of experience in the industry, I guess, but, uh, you know, YouTube only goes so far in terms of trying to help you in the comment section. So stick around for more videos. Um, my review should be posting out a couple days after you see this. So thanks for watching.